what is goody um i am almost done with cowboy bebop i have to say it's all right um it's not wowing me so far but it's not bad fighting is a little stiff but yo these execs better stop playing without oh my God. or i'm gonna have to come see y'all real soon on that note today we're checking out thrasher rise of shido uh, it's an indie manga review um i think it's a manga that's what they label it on their uh fucking ig but yeah this shit is fire i mean god of war x full metal alchemist for some of y'all that's all i need to say but for the rest of you continue watching this story's main character 13 made a mistake which turns his broski into some fairy from the legend of zelda and it looks like the only way 13 can restore his brother is by killing gods and now relax you zealots this ain't attacking your religion unless you are an immortal from 700 bc then yeah we're probably attacking your religion uh guys <sighs> olympus would be that way Dude. i need y'all to go read this right now the artwork is incredible, breathtaking to say the least, and this is available on voice.me. Now I gotta drop a golden eye bomb for this. I know it's dumb early in the vid, but this manga is super hard. Art and story is by Mind Fury, uh, co-written by CJ Arline, and additional art by Bree Spicer. Wow, I didn't butcher any names, hopefully. At least I didn't fumble on them. But yeah, just off of the prologue alone, this is enough to get you hooked. Um, the visuals are A1, and here we're introduced to the beginning of the story with these two brothers. I don't know where the fuck these two dudes are. It's either hell or somewhere the dead be chilling. Um, probably somewhere in the South Bronx. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, they wildin' out here today. But uh, anyway, the two are looking for their pops, but instead they find this massive being or entity that's made out of like skeleton and chains and like this black robe. And I mean this nigga is gigantic. One of the brothers gets snatched by this being, which then fast forwards into the present day of 13 and his Navi version of his brother. Now look at this shit. The movement, the environments, the blur effects the artists use bringing these characters and, and scenes to life. It is a real true fucking art form in itself to have still characters on a page still show movement um, i always got to give respect to artists that are able to translate that so for some reason the gods are dying um i haven't read why just yet or if i did i probably missed it but they're coming to the mortal realm which is called godfall or called a godfall um pronoun verb whatever the fuck it is One. Um, now there are rules that are in play when crossing realms which i love that the artist and the writer or the writer actually added into this story but one of the things that the gods do is possess a mortal so they can move about and handle their business i think they can also just be themselves in this realm as well um but like i said there's rules in play that you guys gotta read further to kind of check out 13 cents is an old dude that is possessed and squares up with him immediately I mean, it's on site. Um, 13 Sword barely misses old dude and disrespectfully knocks his hat off. Yo, talk about the disrespect. Like, uh, look at this dude's dome piece. I see why you were rocking Raiden's joint. What happened to your head? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this god being is surprised at 13's skill and abilities and basically says, all right, fuck it. Might as well reveal myself and get this shit popping. 13's like, oh, you gonna power up? I bet. Whips out the Vega mask from Street Fighter 2, and I must say, that's one handsome son of a gun right there. Look at this fucking artwork. Now also, look at how brolic this god entity whose name is Shiva is. The character designs in this are phenomenal. The six arms with the snake scarf, I mean, the shit is dope. Yo, imagine you pulling up to the function and thinking your snakeskin boots or your wallet is fly, and this dude comes through chiseled no shirt on with a live snake scarf around his neck and now watch gucci try to copy thrasher in like the next coming months I, I called it here first these two are no strangers when it comes to them hands i mean look at this shit action like this brings tears to my eyes i mean this shit is beautiful refreshing very refreshing yeah, I gotta check this out, for real. I mean, there's so much lore, story, and rules that come into play with these different realms, and also what the gods can do, can't do. Um, there's also a bunch more characters and a bunch of more familiar gods like Ares and a couple of other familiar gods. You got this fire-ass sword. I mean, this artwork is just like mouth-watering. It's fucking nuts. 
I know I'm D-writing the artist right now, but fuck it, I got to. Hey, yo! Man, I'm glad I was just scrolling through IG and found this one. Uh, make sure you guys follow this whole entire team. Fo follow all their IG accounts. Tell them B-TV sent you. Again, this is available on voice.me for free. Mad episodes are available. You can also donate to them. Again, remember, we like supporting the indie. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. As always, if you're riding with me, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the full reviews are up on there. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next review. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm probably putting this out before Thanksgiving, but happy holidays with your families, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, peace.